Hi, how are you doing? I hope you have a very nice day. I'm Eva, and I make YouTube videos about veganism and raw veganism. And today's topic will be 10 questions that I get very or ask very often um, on a raw vegan diet. So the first question is, why are you raw vegan? Why would somebody, you know, not eat cooked food? Um, first of all, I really believe that if you want to feel alive and thrive, you have to eat food that is alive. So I believe basically everything around us are um, is moving and has a certain amount of energy. So if you eat food that is high in energy, like fruit and vegetables, you will automatically gain this, um, this energy and you feel more alive. And when you eat cooked food, for example, for me, at least I don't feel as alive as if I would feel when I eat um, fruit um, and I think that's because when you cook food you're basically destroying the food for example when you cook broccoli before you cook the broccoli it's like very green and after you cooked it it's more brown and it's more gray and it's, it's lost the vit vitality and it's the same when you um, put an apple in the ground there might grow a tree however if you cook the apple first the apple first and then you put the apple in the ground, there can't really grow a tree because um, the apple was destroyed by heating. And I just, um, I just want to thrive and just want to feel my best and feel alive. And that's why I do the raw vegan lifestyle. However, I want to mention that I'm not 100% raw because um, for me at this point in my life, I don't think it's super possible but I think I'm like 90% or 95% um, raw vegan and it, this really suits me a lot and maybe one day I will go to 100% I really hope so um, but not now living in Germany and being with a lot of social situations like university but 90% really suits me and second thing is what do raw vegans eat and this question is super interesting because before I joined raw vegan, I basically believed that raw vegans would be super malnourished and only eat um, grass or leaves from the tree or fruit that wanted to get off of the tree, you know, super weird. However, now I completely changed my mind. So you can eat so much um, on the raw vegan diet. So there are different kinds of diets in the raw vegan community. I basically try to follow the 80 to 10 diet. Um, it's this one by Douglas Graham. And it's basically 80% 80 80 carbohydrates, 10% protein and 10% fats. And the main source of your calories should come from fruit. So it's very fruit based diet. And for me, I for me, it makes uh, the most sense. And I really enjoy it the most because it gives me quite high energy. And However, so so basically what I eat is a lot of fruit, like every fruit, for example, today I ate mango, I ate melon, I ate dates, what else did I eat? Avocado and tomato. By the way, avocado and tomato and um, I think those are um, fruit as, fruits as well. Um, however, then there are also other approaches to diet in the raw food community, for example, the higher fat one where they are trying to eat more um, ca uh, cashews, more durian, more avocado, um, stuff like this. But to be honest, there is so much um, to eat. You just have to um, put your focus towards raw foods and there are like thousands and thousands of um, recipes out there about raw veganism like soups and um, cucumber noodles or um, just ca cakes and pies but there are also so many fruits that I've never tried um, so yeah so I just want to say you can eat so many different things and the next question is raw veganism too expensive and to be honest it depends for example I live in Germany and I have to agree, fruit is more expensive here than, for example, noodles or rice. Um, however, I have different priorities. For me, my health is priority number one or two. So it's very, very important for me. And for example, 
I don't buy cloth that much cloth or I buy, buy a lot of second hand or um, you know there are some people who have um, a very expensive car I don't have a car things like that so for me there's always enough money um, to invest in fruit and vegetables and to invest in your own health so I really think that it's important to invest in your health because sooner or later you have to invest in your health either you invest now by buying fruit and vegetables or you have to invest later when you're sick and you have to go to the doctor or get medication and stuff like this and I think later going to the doctor etc will be much more expensive so I really believe that it makes a lot of sense to invest now in your health and also um, I think it's super interesting because no matter how poor people are, they are still able to afford drugs or um, tobacco or liquor. So just just uh, reprogram your mind. And to be honest, in the northern countries, countries it's expensive. But if you move more towards um, the south, it might be even more cheap to grow your own food. And yeah, so... The next question is how to be raw vegan in the winter. Um, I can say it's it's not as easy in the summer for me. For example, um, fruit is more expensive in the winter than in the summer, in Germany at least. And yeah, but for me, to be honest, I feel great no matter, um, or I just feel not so cold if I eat fruit. For example, um, before I turned raw vegan, I, eat, I ate bread. And if I eat bread or if I eat fruit, it doesn't really matter because both is cold. And interestingly, um, I feel better now than I did before. Before I was not eating enough calories, so I was very cold all the time. And now with my fruit diet, I eat enough calories and I just feel more warm but definitely being raw vegan in the winter can be more challenging and that's why i actually want to move not only for fruit reasons but i really want to move to a warmer climate uh, because i do not really enjoy winter so much but you can make it happen if you want to make it happen and i really love the quote if you want something very bad you will find a way and if you and if it's not as important for you you will find it an excuse so it might be much more work, but it is definitely possible. The next thing is, is your, isn't your is your diet a bit too extreme? And to be honest, I think for a lot of people who come from a standard American diet, um, it might sound very extreme. And when I came first to the diet, it was very extreme to me for to just eat fruit and vegetables. Um, however, now I'm doing this over one and a half years now. And now I really believe that it's not extreme. Actually, I really believe that the American standard American diet is super extreme um, and super unhealthy. So actually my mindset has changed a lot. And I really believe that humans are frugivores. So this diet, what I'm currently on is just the diet that is meant for humans. That's just my opinion. So for me, it's not extreme anymore, but I can understand if people think that it's extreme because it's so far away from um, our normal way of eating. Yeah, and the next thing is what's wrong with um, bread or beans and rice. And as I mentioned before, um, I just want to eat uh, food that is that makes me feel alive and that is alive and it's very easy to digest. Whereas when you eat, um, for example, bread or animal products as well, they are not as beneficial to your body as fruits because they take a long time to digest so your body has to put a lot of effort in digestion in digestion and into di digesting those foods you so you don't have as much energy and um, for physical activities or your body can't really heal itself because it has not so much energy when the body um has to digest all the bread and stuff like this so that's one reason and the other reason i really just love the simpl simplicity of this lifestyle 
um, because I don't enjoy cooking as much, but I really enjoy eating. So with this lifestyle, I really can eat more and just I don't really have to cook. I just have a melon and I slice it open and I eat it instead of cooking for some minutes. So I really enjoy this. And bread is not as optimal because I wrote an article. You can read it. However, I remember that there are there were some reasons. First of all, I think there was something about bread that stops um, some um, or bread is not really beneficial because it's it's it stops somehow the absorption of your vitamins and minerals, and also it, it functions a little bit like a glue for your intestines and for your colon, so it's not as beneficial. But I will make an extra or an additional video where I go much more into detail and where I explain it much better than now. And as well with animal products, I've made um several videos about animal products why I, for example don't drink milk or i don't consume eggs or i don't consume um meat and it goes much more into detail so you might check it out and yeah the next thing is um how do you manage to be well in college or school or work or university and i definitely have to say it is more challenging because it's for me the most challenging thing is, is just social gatherings because I'm from Bavaria and in Bavaria we have a very traditional culture, um, very meat based and so veganism is already like super strange so raw veganism is definitely something just super super extreme and super strange to most people. So in school it was difficult and I did not really share my diet with anyone or what I was doing because I, I was so afraid what people might think about me and what people judge or that people judge me however now I go to university and it's much more easier because um, somehow I'm much more freer now going to university um, because there are so many new people and every hour you have different people and um, so for me it is possible However, it takes some preparation. So the evening before you have to plan what do you take for school with you. And yeah, but um, for example, in my university, I have um, a cafeteria and there's always salad and always fruit. So I can just buy this or I take my own food with me. Very good for transportation is first apples or tangerines or just um, papaya. I've also took it with me one time so yeah but but it definitely takes some time and effort and yeah and the next question how long do i do this lifestyle and stay raw vegan first of all i want to remind you i'm not 100 percent raw vegan i'm like 90 percent raw vegan and i really hope that i will stay high raw forever because it's so beneficial to me and i actually want to really want to go 100% raw because um, it's just so many benefits of it like energy through the roof or just um, no pimples, having clear skin, having shiny hair, just um, feeling more calm, more compassionate and I really am afraid if I stop being raw vegan or stop, yeah, stop being raw vegan that I lose all those benefits that I gained and yeah, for me, for me, it simply makes sense to eat um, fruit that is alive. So I am now, from this point of my mindset, I really hope that I will stay and stick to a raw vegan diet because it makes just so much so much simple sense to me. Um, but I never know. I really hope so. But maybe in 20 years, I'm a complete different person. I hope, I don't hope so, but who knows. And I think these were the... Um, questions maybe where do you get my protein from it's also a very funny question because i believe that there's protein in every plant so i get enough protein by eating plants and if i would just eat fruit i would still get enough protein they're actually the only way you're not getting enough protein is when you are not eating enough so if you are um, basically not consuming enough calories but apart from that you're just very 
likely to get all your protein from. And actually, very interesting thing is that people put so much um, focus on getting enough protein. However, the real question for me is um, how to optimize your body so that your body can um, assimilate more protein because actually I really believe that some bodies are um, so full of toxic toxicity that the body cannot really absorb the vitamins and minerals as as efficient as it should need to so I think uh, so yeah but I also want to say I'm I'm not eating meat for like over six years now and I still do a lot of sports and I still am super healthy so for me protein and I never 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 took any protein powders or something like this and I still like I give body weight exercise lessons so I'm a coach basically and so I work physically and it's still I don't have um any problems with protein or something like this so you what I want to say is you can get enough protein on a raw vegan diet and it's just no problem so I really believe that I've answered all 10 questions I think so if you have more questions you can ask me on Instagram or on YouTube just write down your question and I will hope that I can answer it so I wish you a very nice day and I wish you just the best have a nice day and if you liked the video just click the like button. Goodbye.